Nunezi was found alone in a field. It was actually handed to us in a shoebox. He was that small. And we rushed him back to the centre and started kind of 24-7 care with him. At that age, he would still be in the den with his family members. So for him to be completely alone was really scary for him. We started thinking, you know, what can we do for this, this cub? We started looking into kind of what sort of species is a bit similar to hyenas, and that's when we settled on a puppy. Wesley was executed about the same time. On Wesley's side, he was all wanting to wrestle and wanting to play, whereas Niazi was a little bit confused. In the beginning, we just did little sessions of kind of an hour. Just because Wesley being a puppy was a little bit full on, sometimes the hyena needed a little bit of a rest. By about day three, they were feeding next to each other and sleeping in the same nest box. As soon as the puppy got there, he got a lot more confident with change in his environment. And Inez could look at him and go, okay, well, Wesley's not scared, so I don't need to be scared either. Both of them being young boys, their favourite thing, as you can imagine, was to wrestle with each other. So they would just kind of chase each other around, roll each other around, fight over toys as all puppies do. We watched it really carefully to make sure that we were gauging that both parties were still getting benefit from the relationship and that both were still safe. They were together for about four and a half months before we decided Inezi was big enough to move over to meet our two adult hyenas and Wesley was able to go into early retirement. Thankfully able to be adopted by a local family who had two other dogs, so it worked out really well. We have two other hyenas, they're three-year-old brothers, their names are Leo and Milo. And when we took Nunezi over to meet Leo and Milo, he initially met them through a safety slide so they could see and smell each other, but they couldn't physically touch each other. If they fight, I'm going home and you won't see me again for the rest of the week. As soon as we put him in there, Nunezi went running over to the big boys. He did all the appropriate behaviour. It actually went much better than we could ever have hoped. So we were really grateful that Leo and Milo accepted him. He gets his own little second chance at life. Unfortunately for them, they can't be released at this stage um, just because they all have grown up in such close proximity to humans. So Leo, Milo and Nunezi will stay here at the Wildlife Centre as a little clan. We have a huge forest enclosure for them. They've got swimming pools, they've got everything a hyena could possibly need.